Sometimes recognized as one of the greenest universities in America, California State University Chico has a strong commitment to balancing human, social, cultural, economic, and educational needs with the natural environment. Through continuing events, both on and off campus, the university's role is as a national green leader in environmental education and moving toward a more sustainable future. Is the heartbeat of the world. Annual events like the community-wide EcoFest, held each year to coincide with Earth Day, and the highly successful This Way to Sustainability Conference, which is the largest student-run, campus-based sustainability-held conference in the nation, are just a few prime examples of how Chico State leads the way. One such highly successful program on campus is the student-driven Associated Students Recycling Program. It began with rather humble beginnings and a dream. A small but dedicated group of students worked to set up a campus recycling program. Things progressed rather modestly at first, with only 90 recycling bins on campus. Students worked to gain funding to establish a student-run program and so by 1996, the AS won the contract to do the recycling services for the entire campus. We didn't have enough funding to really run the program the way it needed to be run. So we went out and put a referendum on the student ballot in um, spring of 1998. And we really spent a whole year gathering support for that. We knew that we'd need to get enough students to sign the petition to get it on the ballot and really run a strong campaign. When the referendum was passed in 1998, $3.33 of every student's tuition fee went to funding the program. With this new annual source of funding, along with some state grants, the recycling program continued to grow and gain widespread acceptance on campus. Today, there are almost 2,000 bins on campus, and it operates with an annual budget in the neighborhood of $170,000. AS Recycling is involved in many programs both on and off campus, but their primary function is to provide campus-wide recycling services as well as job and educational opportunities for the Chico State students. Each semester there are nearly 20 paid student employees and more than 60 student interns with the AS Sustainability Collaborative, earning class credits and working on projects from zero waste and composting to food and transportation issues. The student body sees their peers out there collecting materials, so the recycling program has a visible presence all over campus, unlike custodial staff in the middle of the night. Each year, over one half million pounds of recycled materials are collected. Of that, one third of what they collect is in paper goods, such as mixed paper, newspapers and magazines, envelopes and junk mail. Recycling assistants go out on predetermined routes and collect all the paper goods from the bins on campus. While out in the field, they sort through and remove all contaminated goods. Once they return to the warehouse, they weigh and record the material and place it for the local hauler to pick up. Books and old reusable school and office supplies are also collected and are available to anyone in the community, free of charge. While other recycling assistants go through the campus to collect cans and glass bottles and bring them back to be sorted into their proper categories. These are then taken to a local buyback center, which helps partially fund the program. 
A third component of the AS Recycling Program is the collection of food scraps from all the dining facilities and coffee shops. Each year, nearly 200,000 pounds of collected food scraps are composted. Some material goes to the compost display area and garden on campus, in which they provide weekend garden composting workshops for anyone who's interested in starting their own backyard compost. The remaining majority is taken away by a local trash and recycling hauler to a larger facility off-site. Other collected materials include old electronic equipment and media, or data wastes such as CDs, DVDs, audio cassettes, videotapes, and ink cartridges. Still many materials collected are things that should never be put in landfill, such as batteries, cell phones, and compact fluorescent lamps. All are collected to be sorted and dealt with in a proper manner. Of the total amount of compost created each year, this prevents the release of 86 tons of CO2 into the atmosphere. From all the mixed paper collected, this is the equivalent of more than 1,500 trees saved. And the 6,000 plus pounds of aluminum cans collected saved enough oil to fuel 587 round trips from Chico State to the White House. But AS Recycling is much more than merely collecting and recycling. It's about the students and the continuing sustainability of the campus. A major emphasis of the recycling program at Chico State is both through education and community outreach. Part of the collection process is further educating the students, staff, and faculty, making them aware of what is recyclable and what isn't. In April 2011, a campus-wide waste audit was completed by AS Recycling. 24 hours worth of campus waste was collected and sorted into 23 different categories over a three-day period. During these three days, over 250 hours of intern and volunteer time went into sorting over 3,000 pounds of waste. The results from the audit allow AS Recycling to determine what is still being thrown away and what can easily be diverted from the waste stream. The students that are part of our program, both the, the paid staff and the interns in our program, I see go through a major transformation because what we see is that they become more aware of the issues and why it is so important to collect the materials. Many of them have gone on to pursue careers in environmentally related fields um, and some in particular with the recycling um, field. So I think that just their exposure to being part of this program is making a bigger difference than just the material we're collecting on campus. So the students that have these paid student positions um, have an opportunity to, first of all, learn about the recycling industry, but then translate their passion into the sense that they are able to make a difference, that they are handling this material, they see how much material there is, and that it is really reducing the amount of stuff that goes to landfill. Over the years, um, we can look back at our numbers and see that every year we collected a little bit more material. Every year we got more bins on campus. But we've always run this program on a shoestring budget. And so little by little, we're able to acquire more bins, we're able to expand our services, um, and we just had to trust that we were going to grow slowly, but grow surely we did. So it wasn't until 2009 that the program got any funding, any significant funding from Chico State. Um, so now they are contributing a considerable amount of money to help support the program, but for over a decade it was really all the students that were pulling this off. It's very exciting now to see that we're collecting so much more material than when we started out. The UC system throughout California has adopted a zero waste goal by, by 2020. We believe that with our student uh, initiative and our enthusiasm that we have here that the associated students at CSU Chico um, can reach zero, our zero waste goal by 2015. Over the uh, extent of my time here, I've really gained um, a really depth of knowledge as far as uh, everything that's uh, going into the whole process here. And uh, it's just really been rewarding and, um, and uh, really a great experience overall. 
Chico State has a long tradition of students pushing for more environmental action, for more sustainability. Um, the fact that the administration has made a commitment to sustainability really paves the path for a lot of these things to happen. I want to give recognition to the fact that students have been pushing for a lot longer than the university has been supporting at the administrative level. Um, but when you've got the two together, I believe that the administration will continue to support sustainability the more that they see students, staff and faculty supporting these issues and pushing for more. The Northern Rural Training and Employment Consortium and the Workforce Innovation and Regional Economic Development provide support for information technology, agribusiness, agritech, advanced manufacturing, healthcare, as well as the encouragement and development of renewal energy entrepreneurs. The mission of the Economic and Workforce Development Division at Shasta College is to provide quality services and programs that benefit the community, as well as employers and employees of the region, thereby contributing to a better quality of life, the local economy, and a more flexible and well-prepared workforce, including a green, sustainable workforce.